Hello, and welcome back to High Society. So... We have to steal the gem collection still, which maybe has put the security up now. You know what? I should probably go do that. Uh, we still have to find the black drop, uh, the black mail, black drop, eavesdrops slash blackmail, blackmail info. So that's what he wanted all the controllers for, right? Recording things from his, the blackmail bit with. We have a ton of loot still to get. We have to find his private library and the secret passage. So, before we go in this room, I'm just going to go ahead south and across. What's something else that's bothering me? Ah, oh, there's the upper floor forum as well, yeah. Uh, south across the forum led us to the gallery, right? Actually, it strikes me that I haven't been in these side rooms. Okay. What did that turn off? I don't know. This is a... Common problem in here. I don't know what things are. Hello, what's this? Right. There's lots been lots of switches and I don't know what any of them do actually. Let me just see something here. Yeah. Nice. This is ballroom music. Okay. Maybe that switch is related. I don't know. It wasn't locked with this. It wasn't locked with security uh, room key. So maybe it had nothing to do with security. All right. I was going to say I should turn the lights on, but there might be gunners wandering around the past. These are still locked. Okay. So I don't think I can do anything in here just yet. Right. We have. Where was the stairs up to the upper floor? There. So let's go, let's go across there. Now that we have the gear, let's go try and get into his rooms. I may or may not have already disabled the watcher for them. But um, that should, you know, hopefully let us get master key and useful things. Right, before I turn the lights on. Is there any, anything in the way of getting ours to worry about? No, right, looks pretty clear. Okay, let's keep the lights on. We can see what we're doing. More money is always good. Nice city views. Wait, this this looks like a library, but this can't be what it means by his private library, right? Because there wouldn't be a secret passage from here to the city hall. It doesn't make any sense. So this is the upper floor. Make no sense at all. Another one of those, that's seven. What's in this little baby chest? House Master Key, yes, nice. 
Lord Gallard, you were invited to join us at the opening ceremony of the Day Dayport Museum on the eve of the 22nd day of the 8th calendar month. We are pleased to open with such wondrous displays as the Varianth Gem Collection, found within the minds of the Varian Rangers. The Horrors of the Underworld, featuring stuffed exhibits of the most hideous creatures found within the depths of our city. And the Wonders of Technology, an exhibit specially created and maintained by our good friends, the Mechanists. The highlight of the evening will be the unveiling of the special Tyrrhenian Blood Diamonds, a crown jewel of our collection. Valued at an astounding 20,000 gold, I'm afraid it will have to be kept well behind glass and security devices, but you will be privileged to be one of the first to see its sheer beauty and richness in colour. We hope to receive a reply confirming your attendance. Lord Ferringer, owner and curator of the Dayport Museum. So why did you want a security guard to come there? Oh, hello. People hiding valuables up in the shadows. Why did he want his captain of the guard to go with him? I don't know, it strikes me I should look for possible uh, attic hatches in these ceilings too. Ooh, nice fancy bath. Just, you know, chill here pretending I'm a rich lord. <laughs> So now we have the master key, we can get into some rooms we couldn't get into before, which I guess would probably includes the private library. Um, and... Mental blank. I don't know, but I was hoping for information about... Oh, that was a, that was a secret room there, so there won't be another one. I was hoping for information about the gym collection, the security on it, but no. Alright, this is one of the rooms I couldn't get into, right? Watcher controls? Okay, I mean, this, this, this wires were a bit of a giveaway to look for the switch. Also, in that darkness, the book does stand out slightly, but. Uh... That fat pig, Ferenger, does he presume to undermine my status and importance in the city by inviting me to the opening of his museum? Does he presume to show to the city that his wealth exceeds that of mine? I must deal with him forthwith. Perhaps acquiring the blood diamond beneath his snivelling nose on the eve of the opening ceremony will show him that he is, is of inconsequence to the city. The jewel will indeed make a nice addition to my own collection, and if another stone were to be substituted for the genuine article, a fraud good enough to pass off to anyone but a jewel or stranger himself, what a sweet revenge that would be. But how to acquire it and make the switch? A thief for hire? It would take a master thief to circumvent the security devices provided by the mechanists. I have heard of rumours of one who is currently residing in Shalebridge that can be hired, but I cannot approach him directly or even verify that he is as good as they say. I don't even know where in the museum the diamond is being kept. I must talk to Varius about this. Well, I've turned the got past all your mechanist security devices and your guards. But I guess I didn't do it without being noticed, so maybe I'm not quite as good as you want. Oh. <clears throat> Moments before I stepped on some noisy floor, recklessly, and I saw him standing there by the fire. <clears throat> You're entirely too quiet, man. Entirely too quiet. Also, why are you guys locked in the library? I don't know. I was going to say, we actually don't have that much... The loophole is not that far away. 
2077 out of 2400. So hopefully we should be able to find it. Now, this is a library, right? If everybody follows my law of libraries, there is a secret room. I've already seen the secret book button being used. See, this is suspicious though. Although, it probably can't move much with the... Uh, the thing there. There is a void under... there's definitely a void under the stairs there. So. So if there was a secret room, it would be round about there. <laughs> I mean, I have no particular reason to think that there is one, but also no particular reason to believe that there isn't. Hello? Also controls the watcher. Okay, there's two sets of controls for the watcher. That's very strange. Very strange indeed. I heard that you. Just make one mistake. Another mid air knockout. Alright. I did make one mistake. My mistake was not actually realizing this room existed. What's that lights? Ah. This room is also not big enough, right? There's clearly really more going on in this library. Best bet best leave the secret passageway. Um, what was it the scroll said? The scroll address addressed to uh, Horace. The red suited child is my favourite picture. Some lights on in the back, on in here. The red suited child is his favourite picture. Is there? Ah, oh, there is. There is a red suited child. That is a long hook. So why are these? Why, who left these guys in the light? That suggests there is something about that picture that is worth examining. Indeed. That'll do. That's fine. We can eat some bread or something to recover that one hit point. Let's just pick the passage is uh, it's clear.
Well, you know what? We're going to have fun there on the way out, aren't we? It's a problem for later. Okay. I've not been in this area. There's a bunch of rooms upstairs we need to get to. So where am I? Let's let's go back upstairs. So south. Oh, this house, right? We need the master key for this room. Not this room. This room. Bedroom key, okay. Another one. My dearest Lord Gillard, I find that I must compliment you on your impeccable taste in porcelain vases. I have never seen such a rare collection. Those miniatures are so dainty and exquisite. They are absolutely flawless, and the china is so thin it appears nearly transparent. The coloration is superb, and the designs are superior to any I have seen. There were even vases by Hidalgo, Mikimoto, and Ritani. Truly, you are a meticulous and discerning collector of vases. In fact, it is the best collection outside of Lord Beringer's at the Dayport Museum. My highest regards, Lady Roger. Sure, he would be flattered by the comparison to uh, Derringer's. Hello. So this is a possible another entrance. It could have come in by, I guess. Let's take a look at how. This is the courtyard. All right, so we could have come over from there. Yeah. And got into the bedroom this way. It could have come in here without the master key. Twenty one seventy loots. Okay, so we had to cross the game room again. What's this room to the south? Actually, let's keep going south. is west oh it's not a room it's the upper, upper area of this room wait this room still has loot i haven't stolen how is that possible let's just rectify this grave error And take the cheese and bread as well. That's the gallery, and that is the main hall. <laughs> All right. What's this area? I also don't know, so let's head east, across the main hall. Alright, that's got a, an openable window. Alright, oh, that's the void above the pool room, okay. That's fine. Well, we should go that way, actually, because we need to get to the game room. Give me the quickest way.
room here, I go east and then north. It's the other room I needed the master key for. This one. Oh, this is it the upper level of the theatre? Okay. Twenty-three oh seven. Okay, twenty-four oh seven. We've just barely made the loot goal, but we have made the loot goal without having to scour the house for missed loot, and we have not yet even stolen the gems. So, why is it why is it showing that we haven't yet been to all of the theatre? Let's get down to the theatre. And try and make sense of the map. We have been to all of the theatre. What's this area though? Check the map, it's at the southern end of this hallway. There's a void in there. Into the barracks. So it says the secret room is probably not accessible by the soldiers. So if I go all the way around the other side of this living area... Oh, I actually can think of it. Doesn't that look suspicious? That looks quite suspicious to me. So there's one of these other statues hiding a switch, perhaps? Aha! Uh -huh. That is locked. Master key opens it. What do we have here? This is his blackmail room, and money room, and another one of those vases. I'm betting there's an optional objective for finding all the china vases, but I could be wrong. God's diary. That's loud stranger. How on earth can I spy on him if he won't stay here? I've had listening devices installed in different rooms to try to overhear him, but all I ever catch is maids, gossip, and guard chatter. The only good catch was finding out that Lady Brickhouse was the one preventing me from opening that new factory on the west side. Forcing workers to toil under inhumane conditions, indeed. Well, I know how to get her out of the way. Ha, ah, I knew it. The Grain Commissioner has a plan with Lord Holmes to hold back the grain shipments until the price rises or more. No wonder baked goods have been so expensive. I think I can get Holmes to sell some of that surplus grain to me. I could make a tidy profit off of it. The ladies Warwick and Brickhouse certainly have quite the feud going on. Such language. One would hardly expect it from society's finest. Lady B insisting on her innocence at Lady W's accusations. Yet neither of them suspect it was me that had a forged letter made detailing Lord Warwick's dalliance with Lady Brickhouse. Left where Lady W would certainly find it. The funniest thing is Lord W can't stand her. At least my objective of keeping Lady B from interfering with my plans seems to be complete. At this rate, she'll be lucky if anyone still talks to her. No wonder Lord Garbo always has insomnia. His lady snores louder than a barrack. I'll have the steward send him up some laudanum lace tea to allow him some rest. His goodwill has been very useful on several occasions. At last, something useful. Perringer is keeping the blood diamond at his house, and not at the museum like he has said. He's doubling the guard on the third floor until it is moved into the museum opening night. He has also doubled the guards at the museum because every thief in town is trying to get hold of the stone. Ha! Huh. All they are doing is training Perringer's guards better. I knew the listening devices various invented were a good investment. <laughs> Good 
up my old material there. Doesn't restart. Oh. Can you say that, Isabel? He certainly does seem to know a lot of what goes on. But to claim that he eavesdrops on his guests. Well, he doesn't listen in on his guests, or else he is a servant spying for him. How else would he know what he knows? You heard him this morning. Can't you play about my ring? So? 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 Hang on. Can you say that, Isabel? He certainly does seem to know a lot of what goes on. But to claim that he eavesdrops on his guests. Well, either he listens in on his guests, or else he is a servant spying for him. How else would he know what he knows? You heard him this morning. He asked me if I had found my ring. So? 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 I didn't mention it to him. Come to think of it, I didn't say anything to the maid either. The only person I said anything to was you, dear. Only you. You're right. There is something odd about that. You know, both I and the Master for the Grain Commission visited here last week. The Guildmaster and I discussed holding the grain in the city warehouses back until the price rose up some more. And you know, I've been telling everyone that there was no grain to be had until the next shipment came in. Yet Gellert asked me to sell him some of my surplus from the warehouse that same evening. He knew it was there. No wonder he always hosts all of the Guild leaders whenever possible. And it also explains how he's able to get the favors from the city commissioners. He has a lot of them guests here as well. I wonder what he has on them. Blackmail? Yes, I could see him doing that. Whoa. You know you can't take it with you. But I can. I once had a girl, or should I say? She once had me, she showed me a room, wasn't it good, Norwegian wood, she asked me to say and she told me to say Well, this is, this is surely grounds for a copyright strike, right? Well, I think we've... Shut up, you drunken off-key taffer! What? I was wondering why there were five love crazed burricks right outside the gate. You're supposed to be guarding this place, not singing and dancing around, you great poof. <laughs> All right. Seems a little strange to hide your uh, secret room in the middle of the hallway, even. Guys will be. Creeping back and forth, but uh, fair enough, fair enough. Gave it away. It's actually now marked not as a void. Uh, so, objective wise, we've just got to get the gem collection and get out there. We've got blackmail proof, we got his china vases, we got. We found the location of the secret passage. So, the gallery is southwest. Uh, I guess this is... Yeah, we cross here, because... Gallery is right here, isn't it? Oh, there's the main hall, but the gallery is just out this way. That thunder. Alright, so, these are locked, but does that mask key indeed open some. Good, good, good. And, is that it? Sword cases? I think we turned the security off, if there was any. There's blue light in that basement thing. Maybe it connected to these, maybe it didn't. There we go. Gym collection stolen. That was another 500 odd loot. Time to leave. Uh, do I remember where the way out was? It's a library, it's just north of it.
quiet now. There's a guard just outside the door. And although there is a door between us, he still has the potential to hear you. Alright. So we've got more guards and a mechanical beast to watch out for here, so... I can't close it from this side. That seems... strange. Hmm. This looks like the way out. Yep. A big one. And it's coming this way. your own. Oh, Jeez, the mechanist. You might uh, use your security deposit on that. They probably will not trust you to, with another mechanical beast. This will take us to City Hall and Freedom. Bonk. Lord Gillard is going to be extremely unhappy when he gets home to find that uh, his entire house has been wiped clean. Well, not quite clean. He still has 300 and change. Maybe he can give that to his captain of the guard uh, to convince him not to not to leave. Three airborne knockouts. Look at that. Would you look at that? Okay. Oh, I missed one secret as well. I think five out of six is pretty good though, especially since I wasn't hunting for most of them. Well, I don't quite understand the title of this mission. High society. Oh, as I say, I just realised. Yes, yes, yes. It's a pun on high society. So when I saw the name of the mission first, I thought it was like, okay, there's this, this, this like, like kind of thief skilled sort of organisation that breaks into places. But no, no, no. It's just, just a pun. I can't believe I missed a pun as well. Terrible. However, uh, I hope you'll join me here for the next mission whatever it turns out to be, and uh, hopefully more puns. Until then, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.